Leafy, beautiful Kew is one of Melbourne's most prestigious suburbs, combining closeness to the city with a refined, peaceful lifestyle. The area is home to some of Melbourne's most expensive properties. 11 Tregarran Avenue, for example, recently sold for $10.5 million. Now, only five kilometres from the CBD, Kew sits just across the Yarra from busy urban area of Richmond, but it feels like it's a world away. There's quiet leafy streets lined with beautiful old houses, mainly Victorian, but certainly Federation or Art Deco as well. It's bordered by large green spaces such as Studley Park along the Yarra River, and there are also at least three golf courses in the area. Now, not, not many people do know this, but the peaceful gardens of Carmelite Monastery are certainly open to the public as well. Kew Junction is the, uh, the local shopping hub of the area and is home to the famous Leo's fine food and wine market. Kew isn't known for its nightlife. It's not the place to go for bars, clubs and music venues. It is, however, a fantastic area in which to go out for dinner with plenty of good restaurants. Chantanove on Cotham Street is a good food guide hatted restaurant. And there's also the Charcoal Grill on the Hill, the famous uh, steak restaurant. Great local cafes are starting to open up on the residential streets too, perhaps in some of the old milk bars, and it's starting to create far more cosmopolitan feel within Kew. Now almost 70% of households in Kew are families who are attracted to the area typically for the high quality of schools that it offers. Schools such as Xavier College, Trinity Grammar and Kerry Baptist Grammar School, along with the state schools of Kew High School and Bourne High School in nearby neighbouring suburbs, are highly sought after. Surprisingly, for such an established suburb, Kew has fewer good transport links than some of the other inner Melbourne areas. The 109 and 48 trams connect Kew to the CBD, but there's actually no train line. The nearest train lines run through neighbouring Camberwell and Hawthorne, so Kew residents typically rely very heavily on their cars, and as a result, congestion on some of the main streets can be a bit of an issue. Now the range of property types in Kew is, is certainly wider and perhaps more affordable than one might expect. As well as larger family homes, it's possible to find smaller units and apartments within the area. Developers are certainly now starting to cater to people who want the luxury lifestyle that Kew offers, but who perhaps don't necessarily need or want a large home. And the new apartment blocks are certainly starting to appear on a number of main streets in the area. There are also great Art Deco and mid-century apartments available too, and these older style apartments provide great investment opportunities and entry-level options for first home buyers. However, for investment properties, the really important aspect to keep in mind is reasonable proximity to Kew Junction and obviously the two tram routes that run through there.